One of the more exciting projects in the world of video game stuff anyway, now that Last of Us is kicking all kinds of ass, you know, Super Mario Brothers did so well. We've got, uh, a, I keep forgetting the name of it, Fallout. Mm -hmm. We had Fallout coming that's looking really good. Yeah. Well, one that's getting a lot of people excited is God of War. This this is one that's got people stoked, and of course, it's going to be coming to uh, to Amazon TV. But the question is, and one of my favorite outlets coming soon has put this article together, <clears throat> asking, you know, who could play Kratos? I mean, more important than any of the dwarves. More important than the kid, Loki? Lo more important than anything. I mean, this show is going to live and die by how it casts Kratos. And kind of like the Sentry thing, I think there's, this commercial, by the way, is so good. <laughs> if you haven't seen this commercial with Ben Stiller and John Travolta, and I forget who the third one is. LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James. Oh, my God. This, with their actual real-life kids, this is gold. You got to go look it up on YouTube if you haven't seen this tra if this trailer. She's like, Dad, anyway. you're acting thirsty. Oh, no, I hydrated. Oh, no, yeah, I'm hydrated. <laughs> so uh, the question becomes, who could this be? Because it's going to be of such paramount importance. And like the, the Sentry, it very well could end up being somebody that no one's ever heard of. And I'm okay with that, too. But coming soon, put together a list that they pulled together of a few things. <clears throat> and I thought we could take a look at these. The list they've got here is Dave Batista, Triple H, yes. Jason Momoa, Christopher Judge yeah. from Stargate Atlantis, who actually does the voice of Kratos in the games, <clears throat> Dwayne Johnson, Yaya Abdul Mateen, and again, everybody wants Alexander Skarsgård. That's the name of a movie right there. Everybody wants Alexander Skarsgård. So here's what's interesting a lot of these names are older names. And sometimes when, <coughs> pardon me, a superhero movie comes up or something like that, some of these names will be brought up and then the first criticism will come and it's like, ah, they might be a little bit old to play the role. The great thing about this role is I think it actually requires somebody older. I think it requires somebody in the age range of a Paul Levesque, a.k.a. Triple H, mm -hmm. of a Dave Batista, of, uh, of a Dwayne Johnson. And that actually ages them in. And I would oddly enough say one of the names on this list, Alexander Skarsgård, who's great, I think he's too young. Mm. I, I, I'm not going to buy the old, grizzled, you know, uh, war, world-weary warrior thing coming from Skarsgård. He's just too young. He could be a villain in it. <clears throat> Absolutely. Some mischievous god. Yeah, I like that. I could see him in any other role he wanted to. So, and I'm going to say the unpopular thing. Everybody who ever plays games, they always think the person who should play it in real life is whoever did the voice of it in the game. And that's just often not true. I, I love Chris Judge's voice. I do. I don't think Chris Judge is the right guy to play the role. I would oddly enough, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, I'm going to say Triple H. <laughs> <clears throat> and yeah. I'll tell you why. Tell you why. Hear me out. I think Triple H is the worst actor on this list. All right? Uh, and, and I say this as a fan. He's one of my all-time favorite wrestlers, Triple H. See if you can find one of his. But he is. Oh, well, no, I mean, he here, like, yoked. literally, okay, there's I got Kratos. You. Like, boom. Yeah. I mean, that's him. I, I mean, yeah. You. I mean, he, and he's as, <laughs> he's, he's physically as big as Kratos. He's got the look of, but here's why. Now, you could be saying and screaming at your screen right now, understandably, Saying, John, you're always saying talent is the first thing. And you just said he's probably the worst actor on this list. He has done some feature films. He's never been very good. So why do I think he could do Kratos? Kratos don't talk much. He, he simply doesn't talk much. You bring in a director <clears throat> who knows how to get the best and exactly specifically what they need. Remember... When Dave Bautista did the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, his talent, oh my God, that looks good. His <laughs> talent level was not where it is today. But he was in the hands of a director in James Gunn who knew exactly how to accentuate that actor's strengths and hide their weaknesses. And a character like Kratos, who has such limited dialogue, a lot of grunting, a lot of 
boy. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff like that. You surround him with some really good talent to carry the, the heavier loads of the performances. You get him to physically emote properly. And one of the things as a wrestler, they know how to physically emote. <clears throat> I'll say that. Now, of course, though, I would be perfectly good if they went with a Jason Momoa or Dave Batista or any of those other names on there. But in this one instance, I think that Triple H might not be a bad pick. I don't know. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Masterclass. Everyone, it's a new year. So picture that thing that you've always wanted to learn. Now, picture learning it from a person who's literally one of the best in the world at it. And that's what you get with Masterclass. This year, learn from the best to become your best with Masterclass. Don't just talk about improving. Masterclass helps you actually do it. Because Masterclass offers over 180 world-class instructors. So whether you want to master negotiation with Chris Voss, like I did, think like a boss with Martha Stewart, or learn the art of storytelling from the man himself, Neil Gaiman. Masterclass has you covered. Because with Masterclass, you get unlimited access to intimate one-on-one -on -one classes with the world's best. At Masterclass, there are over 200 classes to pick from, with new classes being added every month. And if you're a viewer of The John Campion Show, you probably love movie making, storytelling, television. So you'd be totally interested in things like screenwriting from Aaron Sorkin. Learn developing original TV series from Stranger Things as the Duffer Brothers. Or maybe you like the music side of movies, well, you can learn film scoring from Hans Zimmer. And right now, our listeners will get an additional 15% off an annual membership at Master masterclass.com slash campia. Get 15% off right now at masterclass.com slash campia. Masterclass.com slash campia. Chris, what do you think about this and the names that they listed? Do any of the names that they listed stand out to you? Not Triple H. Not your place. Not your Tell you that me. Much. I, I do really like Christopher Judge for this because he also does have the physicality for this role. He is a big, imposing guy who yeah. has an on-camera career as well as a strong voiceover background. Um, I, and I think that voice is so iconic. If we were to go for another great voice actor, though, who has a tremendous on-screen presence, J.K. Simmons. He got swole before. Ooh, yeah, I can almost big. see him more as an Odin though he could then, do odin very very yeah. well and then if we wanted to play somebody if we did want to bring in someone younger and i know he's the same age as skarsgård but ryan hurst i think is a great idea for this character you know it's funny though ryan hurst is in the game franchise mm -hmm. because he's thor yep in the franchise too but i think he'd do a really good job here he's mm. grown epic beards in the past it'd be great and obviously <laughs> no that's not the end i'll be all of this hair makeup those things or lack of hair i should say will come into play here as long as you get a great actor, I think that's really what matters here. I just don't know if Triple H would be my pick. But then again, so many wrestlers have done really, really well in film. Triple H hasn't been one of them so far. No, he is not. But I would love for him to change my mind. I just don't know if I want him to change my mind with this huge property on yeah. his shoulders. See, it, and I could change my mind. Like, if they showed me a script... And they say gave Kratos a lot more dialogue, then I'll be the first person to then say, you know what? I love Triple H, but this is not the role for him. But if it's more limited and you put him in the hands of the right director, maybe. There are probably 25 other better picks, though. Yeah. I, I I admit that there probably are. But I would just say if there's any one role that I think Triple H could play. This is it. Because if it's not this role, it's nobody. <laughs> it's no <laughs> role out there can Triple H play. This might be it or nothing. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.